The newest addition to AAA sports is eSports. That's right, you heard it, eSports. eSports allows students and players to compete almost completely virtual. And with current COVID-19 restrictions, it allows students to keep being involved even in rough times. eSports is competitive gaming. It stands for electronic sports. So uh, anything you play on console or PC would be, competitively would be eSports. There's a surprising amount of teamwork and communication that goes into this. Uh, it's not just a single person sitting on their PC at home. It's actually playing together, uh, taking roles, you know, getting common goals done. Um, there's a lot, a lot of teamwork and communication that goes into it. The start of an esports team at Harbor Alliance with a new opening of a brand new gaming arena right down the road in Fayetteville, Arkansas. The grid hosted a grand opening competition to showcase the talents of both Harbor High School and Don Tyson School of Innovation. The grid is um, a premier esports center. It is one of the first in the area, but especially one of the first in the region that has like a tournament stage as well. So. We're really excited to make this a community space, um, whether it's for somebody who's an, excited about a particular game to come and play with their friends, or um, they have a community through their high school of just being gamers in general. So we want it to be gaming oriented, community oriented. We want to keep it fun. We want to keep it engaging. And yeah, we're just here to have a good time. I've been in contact with the owner and the manager uh, for a few weeks now, and we've been talking about this becoming the home stage for Harvard to compete in esports. So uh, I hope we can make that happen really soon. With future aspirations for the grid becoming the home arena for Harbor High School, students look at this as an opportunity for growth and connections with others in the gaming industry. Through esports, I've actually made a lot of friends. Uh, they're really close to me right now. So to me, esports is just a fun way to connect with other people through games, um, compete, possibly win prizes. Uh, get my name out there and all that good stuff. I hope students gain a sense of purpose and uh, pride for being a Wildcat. Um, I think esports touches a lot of students who aren't necessarily involved in other things. Whether you're just a gaming fan, The Grid is now open to the public starting October 9th. And for the Springdale School's Wildcats esports team, it's RPGs, POVs, and gaining some MP. For WCSN, I'm Caleb Powell Freeman.